Okay, so this video is about writing numbers in words and figures. It goes with the hard end too, and the objective is to be able to write numbers that are given in figures already as words, and vice versa. So writing numbers that are given as words back into figures again. So, you might find it's useful to use a place value table to help you with this. You don't have to, but I find it quite useful myself. So that when I've got the number 935, I know that that's got to start in the hundreds column. So that's quite straightforward, 935. I've got the number 4073. So I know I need four in the thousands column. I know I need to put 73 there, but I haven't got any hundreds at all. So it just gives me a reminder that I need to put a zero in that gap there to get 4073. Writing numbers that are already given in figures then. So we've got 13409. And I can see that the one is in the 10,000s column. So I've got 10,000. But the three is in the thousands column. So I've got three more thousands. That's 13,000 altogether. Then I've got four in the hundreds column. So 400. I've got no tens. I've just got nine. So I've got 1409 for that one. And for the last one, we've got 2091. So we can see that that's two in the thousands column, so 2000. I've got no hundreds this time, I've just got 91. So 2000 and 91. And remember, it does say to write these numbers in words, so try not to write any figures in there. Every single number you need to try and get written as a word instead. Okay, so that's the way it's done. If we turn over, then there's six questions for you to have a go at. So can you write those three numbers in words, and can you write those three numbers in figures? If you press pause, have a little go, and then once you're ready, press play again, and the answers are going to come up for you.